year that just passed. Now this is just the latest sign of Alberta's stunning reversal of fortune, which has seen us fall from an economic boom to the depths of a recession. Well, this news comes as a truck bearing more bad news made a stop in our city. The National Unemployment Clock is traveling to cities across Canada. It started in Ottawa three weeks ago with the numbers reading 1.5 million people unemployed. Well, look at it now. 1.6 million, and that has some unions focusing on companies like TELUS, who is hiring thousands of people in Asia while laying off Canadian workers. Our main focus isn't about TELUS, but it, it, it's about Canadians in general. There's so many Canadians that are affected by unemployment. Right? I don't think that there's a Canadian out there that you can't talk to who hasn't had a family or family member or friend who's not been affected by unemployment. Now, the unemployment clock ends its journey in Vancouver in June. You can check out online petitions regarding offshoring jobs at keepjobsincanada.ca. Well, in the meantime, employees at General Motors' Canadian plants are voting on a concession package.